Two common questions that arise in the industry are, one, what is the difference between the International Building Code and the Life Safety Code? And two, when should I use one versus the other? There are some striking similarities between the two documents when it comes to occupancy classifications, but there are also some major differences. The answer to the first question lies in the difference of purpose of both documents. The purpose of the IBC can be summarized as setting the minimum standards ensuring safety, public health, and general welfare in the built environment. Additionally, it aims to ensure the safety of firefighters and emergency responders during operations. The purpose of the Life Safety Code is to provide minimum requirements for the design, operation, and maintenance of buildings and structures for safety of life from fire. Its provisions will also aid life safety in similar emergencies. Well, what does all that really mean? In short, the IBC is considered a model building code. It is made for adoption by a jurisdiction to be the actual building code for that jurisdiction if made into law through legislation. That means an entire building can be constructed using the IBC, whereas the Life Safety Code covers the life safety portion of building construction, but not necessarily how the entire building will be constructed. For full-on building construction, Life Safety Code is likely to refer you to another standard or code, a governing law or regulation. The determining factor in when to use one document versus the other, or when to use both, is always determined by the authority having jurisdiction and the laws or regulations that they will enforce for the project or contract you are involved with in that particular jurisdiction. It is possible for them to require a designer and the builders to reference both documents and use the more stringent requirements. The Life Safety Code is not one of the reference standards in the model version of the IBC document. Many of the elements of the Life Safety Code have worked their way into the code adoption process for the IBC over the various editions. Some building regulatory agencies and fire marshals at the state and the local levels adopt the Life Safety Code to allow them to enforce the additional provisions contained within this standard. In addition, some rulemaking agencies have adopted the Life Safety Code as part of their rules process. The most common application of this is the federal government agency CMS, or Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, which provides health care services for over 100 million Americans through Medicare and Medicaid. Facilities which provide medical services that are reimbursed must comply with the 2012 edition of the Life Safety Code. These facilities such as hospitals, nursing homes, and ambulatory care facilities are required to be accredited through third-party agencies such as the Joint Commission and Healthcare Accreditation Council to determine their compliance with the adopted rules by CMS. At these hospital complexes they may have a mixture of facilities that are required to meet these rules, but have buildings and other portions that are not. It is important to determine which situation applies to each portion of the facility. There could be instances where the IBC is the more stringent for a given situation, and the Life Safety Code may be more stringent in other situations. As you can see, there are both similarities and differences between the IBC and the Life Safety Code. Using the requirements of one code versus the other will be dependent on the project and the jurisdiction it is located in. Also keep in mind that you may have to use different requirements from both codes on the same project. Staying familiar with both of these documents may save you time and money on your projects.